Philippines is looking to buy heavy-lift Chinook helicopters from the United States after scrapping a deal with Russia worth 12.7 billion pesos $227.35 million in order to avoid sanctions, according to Manila's ambassador to Washington. The U.S. ambassador in Manila announced on October 14, 2022, that Washington had provided the Philippines with $100 million in foreign military funding. The cash is intended to boost the military modernization and defense capabilities of the Philippines. This amount could actually pay for at least two new Boeing CH-47F Chinook heavy transport helicopters to be delivered to the Philippines and could add to the PHP 12.8 billion budget allocated by the Philippine Air Force for the heavy lift helicopter acquisition project. Ambassador Romulates said that the United States may offer the Chinook helicopters at a special price to the Philippines, which is considered one of its most important major non-NATO allies in the Pacific region. According to Filipino defense page Max Defense Philippines, the CH-47 Chinook is much more expensive per unit compared to the Mil Mi-17 and the PAF may only get around 4 to 5 Chinooks for the same price as 16 Mi-17 HIP helicopters. Boeing currently produces the CH-47F Chinook, the latest variant of the venerable Chinook family of heavy-lift helicopters, although the US also has a large stockpile of older CH-47D variants that it may offer up to friendly countries as excess defense articles, EDA. The Boeing CH-47 Chinook is a twin-engine, tandem-rotor, heavy-lift American helicopter. With a top speed of 170 knots, 196 miles per hour, 315 km per hour, it is faster than any attack helicopter of the 1960s. The CH-47 helicopter is one of the few aircraft of the era still in production and in frontline service with over 1,179 built to date. Its main roles include troop movement, artillery, and supplying battlefield equipment. It has a wide loading door at the rear of the aircraft and three external cargo hooks. The Chinook was designed and originally manufactured by Boeing Vertol in the early 1960s. The helicopter is now manufactured by Boeing Rotorcraft Systems. Chinooks have been sold to 16 countries, with the U.S. Army and Royal Air Force being the largest users. The CH-47 helicopter is one of the heaviest lift helicopters in the West. Ambassador Mary Kay Carlson stated at a press conference on board the USS Ronald Reagan, which is making a scheduled port call in Manila that the United States has now provided $100 million in foreign military funding in part for the Philippine military to use as they wish. The amount, Carlson continued, could be used by the Philippines to compensate for its choice to scrap AP-1 $2.7 billion, $227.35 million, deal with Russia. From 2015 to 2022, the Philippines received $1.14 billion worth of aircraft, armored vehicles, small guns, and other military equipment and training from the United States, making it the largest beneficiary of foreign military aid in the Indo-Pacific region. The latest military spending reflects strength and defense ties between the treaty partners under President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. The relations between America and the Philippines, its longest treaty partner in Asia, deteriorated significantly under the administration of former President Rodrigo Duterte. President Marcos, who met with his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden last month, 
also welcomed the visit of the USS Ronald Reagan and reaffirmed his pledge to maintain peace and stability in the South China Sea. Following its participation in joint maritime drills between the United States and South Korea, the nuclear-powered warship made its first port call in three years in the Philippines. Cancellation of the MI-17 helicopter deal with Russia following the cancellation of a deal worth 12.7 billion pesos, $227.35 million, with Moscow to evade sanctions, the Philippines is now looking to purchase heavy-lift Chinook helicopters from the U.S.